The moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. If you've been following the channel, you'll know that I bought this Yamaha slider and sometimes it was running and then other times it just wouldn't run. And I tried tuning the carburetor, changing the manger and giving it a lot more fuel and it still just wouldn't run right. It was like it was bogging even though it had a lot of fuel going into the engine. In the last Yamaha slider video, I said we were going to make a pressure testing kit and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm going to tell you about why you need to make a pressure testing kit when you're building two stroke scooters and how it's going to save you a lot of problems. So what I've done here is made this metal bracket and this little rubber piece and I'm just going to block off the exhaust port with these two pieces to stop any air from escaping. It's super important to have one of these air leak down test kits because if there isn't air leak anywhere on the engine you can spend a lot of time and money changing parts trying to find out what the problem is with your bike and it could just be a simple air leak that you just didn't know about. So step one, remove the exhaust and fit some sort of blanking plate that's definitely going to be airtight. Step two is to remove the carburetor. Step three, remove the spark plug. Now I'm just putting a pen inside the spark plug hole and I'm using this as a guide so I can make sure the piston is right down at the bottom of the cylinder. This is known as putting the piston at bottom dead centre and I'm simply just turning over the flywheel by hand and making sure the piston is as far down as it will go. Then I'm putting the spark plug back in and tightening it back up. I originally made a pressure testing kit that just wasn't working, it kept leaking air. So I've made this new one and it seems to be working a lot better so far. It's simply a hand pump connected to a low pressure PSI gauge and then it runs down into the intake manifold through a bung that I've made. When you're testing two stroke engines for air leaks, you want to pump it up to 6 PSI and you want to see it hold 6 PSI for maybe 30 minutes. If it's not holding pressure at 6 PSI, then you've definitely got an air leak somewhere and you need to fix it. Now I already know that this engine is not holding 6 PSI and I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but you should be able to hear this air leak. If not, you can definitely see it. The way that we visually inspect if we have an air leak is to spray soapy water all around areas of the engine that can leak air and you're going to see that in just a second. So here you can see my intake manifold is definitely leaking air. So I'm going to have to take the intake manifold off and reseal it back onto the engine and I'm going to use Honda Bond to do that. So for everybody that says Honda Bond's no good or why do you use it, this is definitely why you use Honda Bond when you're building engines. Now I'm going to take the time to just tell you about some of the common places where you're going to find air leaks. It can be anywhere where two mating surfaces come together, so it could be your intake manifold. It could be where your spark plug goes into the spark plug hole. It could be the cylinder head. It could be the cylinder base. It could be the exhaust port. You could also have an air leak on your crankcase seals or even where the two crankcase sides come together, which is basically the entire way around the crankcase itself. That's some of the more common places you can find air leaks, but if you're still struggling to find one and you know you've definitely got an air leak somewhere, then it could also be... Behind your variator, you could have a crack in the CVT casing. You could even have a pinhole in the cylinder casing itself, which is a common flaw on stage six parts. And if you go and watch Mop Boys on YouTube, you'll see him finding plenty of air leaks on a lot of his builds. And it's usually stage six parts. And he always fixes them with a bit of Honda Bond or JB Weld. So I'm going to reseal that intake manifold. And then once it's set after 24 hours, I'm going to continue to check if there's any more air leaks. And then hopefully we can start to get this bike running properly. And as always, guys, if you enjoy the content, please drop a follow because it helps out a lot. And make sure to share this stuff with your friends as well because you might help them find some problems that they didn't even know about. Thank you to everyone that's been liking and sharing and following the page. I really appreciate it. And if it's Saturday, which it always is when I do a post, there's going to be plenty more videos to check out that I've uploaded today. So go and have a look at them as well.